Hey guys, Dennis Litter Magic here, and it's time for another Overlooked But Awesome card, and this one is exceptional. It was brought to my attention because, and this is very noteworthy, it allegedly was a leak that it's going to be in Modern Horizons 2. So considering, one, it's out of stock most places that I looked in, two, it's somewhat expensive, you might want to wait on picking this one up if you were going to. It was printed as a rare in Judgment and never reprinted, so it's very due for a reprint. I find it very believable that it will be an MH2, but uh, it's smart to wait and see either way. So, have you ever thought to yourself in a game, I just need to absolutely turtle for a couple turns? If I could just buy myself a couple turns and not lose the game, then I could, you know, add the counters one per turn to this permanent or remove all the counters from this permanent to get, you know, Merit Lage or something. Or if I could just have this doubling effect go off a couple more times, I just need to not die. I need the, the other player to just leave me alone. Well, have I got the hyper turtling card for you? I'm, of course, talking about solitary confinement. Currently sitting at about 13 bucks on the open market. So you throw out this three cost white enchantment and it says at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice solitary confinement unless you discard a card. So once per turn, you got to kind of feed cards to this thing and, and your hand starts shrinking. Also, skip your draw step. You have Shroud, which means you can't be the target of spells or abilities of either your own or your opponent's. So it's a hexproof that goes both ways. And then it also says prevent all damage that would be dealt to you. So you can't take damage and you can't be the target of anything. How is your opponent supposed to win now? That's exactly the point. So if you had four cards in hand plus this one, you could just slap this into play and you basically bought yourself about four turns in which you, for all intents and purposes, can't really reasonably lose the game. There are narrow ways you could still lose, um, and you'll still lose if, you know, your library runs out of cards or whatever, but you're certainly not going to lose the damage and any effect that would make you directly lose or any kind of burn spell, well, doesn't resolve. In fact, it also doesn't get cast in the first place because they can't target you. So that's the way it's supposed to work. Now, if you were to throw this into a very, very naughty commander deck that the whole point is that you go get this and there are multiple enchantment fetching cards, so that is very reasonable. If you can draw cards repeatedly from another source, you could just keep this going forever, in theory. Heck, run Platinum Angel and then run another card that gives all of your permanent sex proof. Or Shroud. That would mean the game keeps on chugging along, you keep casting spells, and your hand just kind of fluctuates up and down, but you just never seem to lose the game. I had absolutely no idea that a card this powerful existed. And uh, generally, enchantments are considered the hardest to remove type of permanent that you can drop into play. So yeah, you drop this in, it's going to be a hard time for your opponents. This would be hilarious to run in Commander. And unfortunately, it's only legal in Commander Vintage and Legacy, not Modern. But it's about to be legal in Modern if they printed an MH2. Wouldn't that be a treat for everybody? So just wanted to bring this one to your attention ahead of time, ahead of, well, a potential leak being verified. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next video.